Digital payments in the U.S. are on the rise with more and more Americans paying for things online. Yeah, food is one of those items. And maybe you've gone to pick something up like coffee, pizza, any type of takeout, and you were asked to leave a tip. Well, what is the proper etiquette? Should you leave a tip for takeout? Our Philip Ward has been talking with an etiquette expert today to try and clear this up. To get to the bottom of this, Philip, what did he tell you? Good evening, Eva and Mike. If you go out to eat at a restaurant, leaving a tip is usually expected. What if you go somewhere and pick something up yourself? Is it proper etiquette to still leave a tip? Well, today I spoke with Mr. Manners to get the answers. I think that this is a point of no return, and I think it's important right now to discuss why this is happening and what we as consumers should be doing about it. You've probably been at a restaurant counter and had this question pop up. But what is proper etiquette for leaving a tip and when is it not expected? There are multiple scenarios where you might find yourself at a counter where food is involved and a tip is something that you may be considering. The one where I would suggest, highly suggest, that you do tip is where you're doing a large takeout order. What if you're just picking up one item? On the other hand, if you are simply walking into an establishment where somebody is grabbing a candy bar from behind a glass counter and handing it to you, there is no etiquette obligation to tip in that circumstance, nor should you feel guilty. So how do you work around not having to face the tablet? One very easy workaround for this, at least for the time being, is if you don't like facing that tablet, prompting you in a guilty in a guilty way, you pay with cash. If you pay for whatever it is you're buying at the counter with cash, you're not going to have one of those screens. Now, Mike and Eva, I spoke with some local business owners, though. I want to kind of play devil's advocate here for a second. And they say that the tablets... They're quick and easy. People typically leave tips, more money into business owners' pockets. Tip or skip, right? Well, <laughs> I think the question is, Mike, to tip or not to tip. So I hope that that sort of clears things up. So again, if it's one singular item that you're going, like, like let's use the pizza for an mm -hmm. example. You go and you pick up one slice of pizza. Right. They don't expect you to tip. Now, if you got pizza, Super Bowl's coming up, if it's pizza, if it's wings, if this is large takeout <laughs> order, yeah, order, you yeah. probably, yeah, it's etiquette to tip. But I, I, like I said, I hope that clears some things up, Mr. Matters. And sometimes there's also the tablet and the jar. Mm -hmm. right. so, exactly. You know, you exactly. could even just and no choose. Pro no problem with tip jars either. Like I said, if you don't want to, if you don't want to face the tablet, <laughs> uh, you can always pay cash too. There you That's go. Right. Yeah. Philip, right, thanks, thanks so much. Problem.